guys, we just finished watching the 13th episode of Star Trek Discovery. I'm Sean Chandler. This is my sister, Tisha Massey. And we're going to go ahead and dive into this episode. We're at a point in time in the season for even us to just talk about the setup for this episode contains spoilers for the previous, like, whole season. Whole season. Yeah. So Especially if, the last few episodes. Yes. So if you haven't watched the last few episodes, if you're behind, stop Don't watching watch. now. Wait, go watch, watch those. the episode. And then tune in. So here's the setup for this episode. Mirror Lorca frees his crew in order to try and take over the Empire. Michael teams up with the Emperor to stop Lorca and his crew. Discovery works to save Michael, stop the Mirror Spore Drive from tearing apart the network, and still be able to get back home. So, compared to last week's episode, this one... Action, action packed. Last week's episode, exposition, talky, talky, talky. Let's set all the pieces up, set the dominoes up. And, and this, this week they knocked, knocked it down. down. And I'll just say for my part, um, might be my favorite episode of the season. I, I'd have to rewatch this season to be able to say that, confirm that. But it was definitely one that I was in my seat digging it. Uh, I was invested in the story beginning to end. I was. I had, there's a few where I was like, what? That... Yeah, the, it, it, there's a few moments that, in terms of Star Trek lore, take you mm -hmm. out of the moment because you're like, "Wait a second, it doesn't it doesn't work that way," which mess with the enjoyment of the story because you suddenly are like, "Wait, that's no." So I I still miss the Harry Mud right now, but <laughs> yes. So for me, I, I I think I've just had enough at a point. I've just been like all the canon issues. I just it's just kind of out for me. I just don't expect canon to be together so just watching it as a show am i tracking along with it this one i was for the most part i was too all right there so was we'll, about three moments so we will go through it and we will get to your moments as we go along through this so we'll just real quick what we're going to do is talk through the plot of the episode the yeah. general setup of the episode we kick things off Lorca frees his people and he's, I've been tortured for a year. I've gone to different universes and this Everything's, is- Everything's, I am rah. And they're like, we need to back off. And he's like, I've got a plan. I don't know why I'm talking like Lorca is a pirate now, but uh, I've got a plan, <laughs> mate. Because he has that gravelly voice. Yeah, he, he does. So I guess he can like... come off a little piratey when I do it. So he frees his people and then we actually get the backstory of what happened in the middle yes. of a battle. He's transporting. The ship's getting hit, and so the ship's transporter malfunctions in the middle of an ion storm. Same thing in the original Mirror yes. Mirror episode. What we heard. Nice throwback. And voila! He disappears and appears in a different universe, setting up this whole season yes. of the show. So presumably what they're setting up is that the so-called Prime Universe, because I don't... So, yeah. so called Prime. <laughs> so called Prime Universe, um, Lorca is now over in the Mirror Universe and he's the one who died. Yes. So that's the theory, at least. Yes, that's the way they set things up. So then we cut to Michael and our Emperor talking. And Michael's like, I can try and stop. She's trying to persuade yeah. him and saying, if he, he can make. Yes, yes, that's important. Um, that, it's know, very confusing when they use emperor and not empress yes. when you're just set speaking fast. Yes. So but then, then we couldn't have got the big reveal. She starts to, yeah, yeah it's, that was the so, trick. Like, we'll just use emperor and that way we can have a big reveal that. Yes. It's our former captain. <gasps> so then uh, Michael, I was about to say Michelle because of Michelle Yo. It's, it's all confusing. Michael tried to tell her he manipulates you. And she's like, I know all of that. And he was able to use you. So you need to go off to the brig because of that. By because putting you in timeout. And Michael's not having this. So she starts beating people up. Of course, in typical fashion of sci-fi, nobody can shoot her. She slides, yeah, through, slides the through the gate. That I, I'm presuming from the way they did the effects had just been blown up so that she had that hole to go through because the metal bars looked like they still had that glowing red yes. from having been burned yes. out. Yes, in true sci-fi fashion, yes. once again, the you know, glowing thankfully, metal Thankfully, though, the floor was not scorching yes. hot. Of course Also not. in true sci-fi fashion. Yes, and so then we cut over to Discovery and basically it's just, hey, let's catch everybody up. Saru's the captain and Stamets is like, the network's gonna get broken down, which is important at this point in time to mention I was wrong about Stamets. I misinterpreted it last week. You were right. I'm wrong! 
Gilbert! You, you Gilbert! get the point on this one. A bunch of you guys in the comment section were also right. And some of you guys were also on my side. The way they edited it was weird. They it, edited it, it weird. They, we were following our normal stamets, and then it cuts to Mirror waking up. Yeah. That's an odd way to do that. It, it makes yes. it a little bit confusing. But so, also, likewise, we saw that Lorca had woken up Mirror Stamets, or found him. He tracked yes. him down because he was hiding. He finds him. and he Reaches through the hologram, pulls him out. And they got a few more things they need to work and out. So with. when they had that happen, I thought at first that there was glitches on CBS All Access because the way yeah. they did it. I was like, ah, oh, okay, there we go again. And then, no, he reached through and pulled him out, which that was rather amusing yeah. <laughs> to me. I, I was starting to think, are they going to do one more, like, other level reveal to this and we're in some sort of simulation? I was thinking, like, where is... Oh, it's just a hologram. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so then uh, Lorca uh, attacks our, mm -hmm. like, uh, we get an ambush real quick. Like, yeah. I was thinking we were going to stretch this out longer real so quick. So we still Lorca have two episodes left, so presumably yeah, the way they were setting it up is this is the end of this. They yes. were going to do this for the rest of the season. But right to it, Lorca, Emperor, battling right in the hallway immediately. They shoot back and forth, back and forth. People are going down. People got shields, secret weapons, backup plans. Mm -hmm. She uses a personal transporter to get out of there. Lorca I have to say, when I saw command. the shield, I thought of Stargate. That the, It was controlled the same way that they do the personal shields in Stargate. And I know this was set up more like the isolation shields that they have in Star Trek, but the way they had it set up for the controls made me think Stargate. That's a fun fact. Yes, my mind works like a spaghetti <laughs> network. <laughs> yes. So, she gets away. We uh, then have Michael is able to contact Discovery, Sarum, yep. and they start you tell each other the important information. You're one of us. We have to come get you. We're yes. no longer Lorca's crew. But by the way, Lorca, he's actually Mirror. Plot twist. And so they're like, how did my noodles not uh, noodle it up or whatever? And so then they devise a plan. All right. Which they never explain. They just, yeah, they're, went, just they're just like, as long as we mention it, we're okay. We're okay. But so then um, the, they devise a plan. Like, all right, the network. I know. Maybe it's because he was always noodling up because of Michael. Possibly. Anyway, uh, maybe, maybe they'll give us some information. But so they have to make a plan because the network's going to be blown to pieces. And she's trying to be like, go ahead and leave, guys. You can leave me like, oh, no, actually, um, the Mirror uni Spore universe is going to blow everything up so, or like so tear everything we, apart. We got to so, fix it. Can't, can't leave you. So they develop a plan to save the day. At this point in time, Lorca sends out a message trying to like, hey, Michael, I really like you. I have, I really, really we like you. Are you belong here. We are destined to be together. Destined. And you see it's his a, soft side. He's yeah. In, he, actually, he actually really does care for her, no matter which virgin she is. And that was kind of amusing yeah, to see. It's nice to see that, that, like, he cares about people. Yeah. One but person. She Only also person. cares about people and goes back to her captain. Yeah. Goes back to her and they have like this whole touching thing. And I won't, we can't, I my me has betrayed you many times. I'm not going to betray you again. I'm not going to let you die. I thought that was a really weird and foolish statement to make. Right. When yeah. you're trying to convince this person who has already tried to order your death several times. Yes. That, well, you see, I might have betrayed you before and I know you're super paranoid. But this time, I'm totally not going to betray you. Yes. And also when it's uh, kind of also makes it clear as to why Lorca likes her. Like, oh, yeah, you betray people and kill people. You really do belong. Yeah. Weird, weird, a little weird direction to go with that. Yeah. But so then they, uh, she's like, we're going to, let's team up together. But essentially what happens. Yeah. And so like, I can get on the, I know how to get onto the uh, We give bridge, him what he wants. Give him what he wants. So we come back to Discovery. Big, big, gigantic exposition dump, a bunch of mumbo tech, jumbo. Tech, tech, tech. Uh, yeah, techno mumbo jumbo stuff. And they're like, the ship's going to blow up and we're not going to be able to escape. And we got to use all of our spores on these missiles and, and torpedoes. We're and not going to be able to go home. Where there's no way it's going to. And the explosion will be so big that we will die. And then Sorrow goes, guys, I'm known as a guy that can sense death. Because we have to bring that up again. I'm not sensing death. I trust my crew. You guys are amazing. 
And I believe in you guys that we're going to be able to pull this off and we will find a way. I'm not sensing death. Lorca is, ran this thing he is like a monster. His Kirk from yeah. Star Trek 2. Yes. Years <laughs> before it happened. I don't believe in a no win situation. Yeah, I do this not believe This is not no our win. Kobayashi Maru. They could have <laughs> thrown in a Kobayashi Maru reference. Do they? No. And this is Discovery's maiden voyage. Nice moving speech. Uh, nice it's little a, touch. It's it, a good touch. Yeah, speech. And it, it, it actually goes back to Star Trek. It yes. goes back, like you start being like, okay, I see what you, I see you guys transitioning back. I see what, like, it started so doing. abrasive, so anti-Federation, so everyone hates each other. And so We're now. We're all getting ready to kill each we've other. We've worked our way around all the way to now to where Saru, the guy that's like <laughs> Mr. Negativity wet blanket, is giving moving speeches Oh, how things have changed a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> so, uh, Michael takes Emperor to Lorca, and yes. he's got a he's like got to take her captive, and like I and convinces her she he wants yeah. to say, and you can see him like he's grinning and he's getting so happy, and she's like, "All I want, all I want is my crew to be saved. That's all I want. You get yeah. me, you get my brain. You don't get my heart, but you get me." Just but save I, I my I think group. it was more explicitly, you don't get my body. Yes. Yes, she did. <laughs> yes, it was pretty explicit about that. And then Just we a little. cut over to Discovery. They get a message from Michael. Actually, right before that, right before we get some uh, ex one more expository scene where Stamets and Tilly are talking like, I figured out we can ride the wave and we'll have yeah. a spore drive transporter warp drive system that shoots torpedoes like, okay, like just more mumbo jumbo. Of it's Federation <laughs> bingo. Yes, it, it all fits together. Um, it's just all the words that you can say for Star trek -y stuff with Discovery Sport Drive stuff, all for this one maneuver they're going to play with a little surfing the wave going on all the way back to our world. And Stamets is going to like use his special abilities to find the path somehow. Once again, it gives a little bit of I don't believe in a no one scenario. Like it, it, two times. Yeah, we, two we times. get that both times. We uh, don't believe in no win. At We're the beginning, do it. and the book ended it with uh, each of them saying no win scenarios and a sorrow no win scenarios. So definitely they're going to find a way to make this yes. happen. So then we cut ahead and Lorca, or Michael's contacting them. They answer it. It's Lorca. And yeah, he's like, not hey, Michael. I love you guys. You guys, I really respect you. You're, you're Federation. And you're cult-like, and so I wish I could save you, but you guys I are so devoted. I thought that was absolutely hilarious that he was like, you got your cult-like devotion to the Federation. I was like, pot kettle? <laughs> yeah. And uh, so that is, a little, once again, sweet. He actually has respect yeah. for people and can use his Which, words for life as opposed to death. Yes. And, uh, he's, and not randomly threatening people. Yes. You know, so that, that was impressive to see. And then Michael goes and ruins his encouraging words. Battle breaks out. And so Michelle Yeoh finally gets to use her martial arts skills, throws some high kicks up. Yeah, like there's times I was watching that I was like, I don't think that leg is attached to her yes. body. I didn't know that a leg could do that. But I know she can because she can do that. I don't know that I believe she can do that in those pants. Yes. See, I noticed whenever they did that, it was a close up so you couldn't see her entire body. You would think they would want to showcase the impressiveness to give you the full yes. scale shot. But it was always like close up. There's just a leg that suddenly appears. Leg! I would try to do that, but I think I'd break something. Yes. Now, once again, I've seen her in several Jackie Chan films and movies on her own, and she can, in fact, do that. Or at least she could back in the 90s. It's been a while since the 90s happened. But Just so a little. Beat a bunch of people up. Yeah. A bunch of Lots fighting. Lots of back and forth. Back and forth. Switching uh, of uh, people who you were fighting. And Sorrow, you see him in his leadership, like, keep an eye on that. Fire at that. And he's yes. waiting for the pieces to come you together. You see a total transformation of his character from who we saw at yes. the the beginning of the season where you're like how did this guy ever get to be a first officer to someone you're like okay i see a first mm -hmm. officer and still wondering how he was first officer at the beginning of the season but now he is one and we get to the end of it and michael is fighting Lorca, and he's like don't make me kill you but she's got vulcan martial arts training so she's she, able to you know, outdo it picks up a phaser's aiming at him goes we would have sent you back 
We would have just sent you back. Federation that's, speech. That's what the Federation does. And that's why I'm not going to kill you. Just in time for... The Emperor. <laughs> but I will. Straight through the heart. And then opens up the chamber, kicks him into the core, and epic death in space into a core that melts him into a bunch of different pieces. You know, which begs the question, did he meld and become one with the mycelial network? Hmm. One to add into our uh, uh, theories at that the end of the episode. That would be fun to have happen. <laughs> <laughs> and so then... Um, we get now, we get our Terran speech as the Emperor's like, I, they've shown, seen my neck. I am broken. They will defeat me, but I will die in my throne and I will give you time. Go yes. and get out of here. And so I guess that's the Terran version of the you know, moving, the moving, moving speech. speech. And you so that, I wonder, how do they get those types of speeches in that world where it's like, yeah, I, I'd like to be in your job. Yeah, yeah, it, you know, it's, it's a little it's hard to inspire loyalty. Yeah, not so much. And so then Michael goes, contacts um, uh, Discovery. Discovery. Discovery starts locking in. She hits a Michael hits a bunch of buttons and suddenly the, the shield drops. Drops. And so Discovery starts preparing to go in for their final, their final kill shot. Michael's about to get beamed out, and she runs over, grabs the emperor, and then we shoot over to the to the discovery, and they're in separate yeah, spots. Yeah, two different spots. You know, every other time someone's beamed up, they're all like still right come like this. No, they're both there and standing like normal. So apparently, discoveries transporter has what? the ability to be like. Not only does it like separate them into different positions, but it actually changes their posture. Yes. Just that's a, that's impressive. That's Does a nice it, technology there. Very so then convenient. Discovery goes in for the move, and the people over on the Emperor's ship are like, what are they doing? Like, that's a weird thing to do. Start flying in. If the, if the Emperor's ship had been smart, they would have shot. Yes. But yes. they have A number not. of things they should have done. Yes. They didn't. Discovery fires their spore warp drive torpedo maneuver shields. Yeah. It blows up. And they ride, ride, ride the, the wave. wave. Ride the wave. And then they ride the network roller coaster. Yes. As Stamets. It, <laughs> yes. And he, he gets, you know, the inspirational speech of his own. You know, everyone needs Through their the own trees. space. Through yes. The trees. Find the clearing. Just listen to and the music. I was really amused that the, fa that the correct uh, direction was an angry red. Did you notice that? I had not. So, like, it was, like, kind of bluish before, and then it turned this, like, magenta pink color. And then it was, like, angry red to go through the entire the correct direction. I was like, wow. I, I'm a little worried about what that's trying to say there. So he goes through the angry red. Yeah, angry red. Foreshadowing. They arrive in the right universe. Yeah! Score! Nine months in the future, though. No. Oh. Contact the Federation. Let's see what's going on with the war. I wonder what it could be. You know, it's just hmm. nine months. Only not. Wait, they're not responding. Pull up the map of the universe. Red. Yeah. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Foreshadowing. Does not dun, line dun, up dun. with the, the, tra the trailer for the next episode. A little bit, not so much. Not, not so much. <laughs> so anyway, what was the good, best things about this episode? Uh, it was a lot of delivery on things, you know, so it was very action-packed and going one after the other. You got a lot of payoff. You got some great moments with uh, Philippa and Michael that was really good for the two of them together. Uh, you actually got to see the softer side of Lorca. Mm -hmm. Apparently he has one. Didn't yes. know that before. Yes. Oddly, you see it uh, right as he's taking over as a tyrant. Yeah, and murdering a lot and of people. And murdering a lot <laughs> Apparently, of murder brings out the softer side of Lorca. Just, you get, get soften him up um, just like butter. Just, I mean, yeah. that sweet, I don't, sweet, but I don't even know what this set of metaphors was supposed to be. I don't know, I'm kind of worried about you right now. <laughs> uh, just delicious yeah. sugar and butter <laughs> every night. I have it for dessert. Um, I'm scared. That's a reference to the movie The Glass Castle. Ah. Uh. So okay. there you go. Anyway, so yeah, it was, uh, you had the action, you had yeah. character moments, and uh, you had satisfactory conclusions and payoff to things. That you yes, 
And you had characters that re that you got to see show up again that had died in the so-called Prime mm -hmm. Universe that showed up again in the Mirror Universe. You got to see his uh, security officer come mm -hmm. back. And she's still just as hot-headed and yes. not supremely effective. No, not so much. But she does better in this one because, you know, it's not as much of a think in universe. No, not so much. No. Um, but see, so you pay us, um, like emotionally satisfying type things mm -hmm. of like, ah, that, yes, that's a good moment. Ah, that's, that's what we've been waiting for type moments. Yes. Whether discovery working together, um, a payoff with Lorca and mm -hmm. even having him say words of affirmation has like a certain level to it, which you're like, oh, the captain did care about his crew this whole time. That's like, good to it, see. It actually does kind of work. Um, and then as you're watching the episode and you go, oh, they're going to get like, this is. This mirror side of things, it's ending. It's ending this episode, and not like later. Yeah, you're thinking so, this was going to be, that was going to be the end. It actually felt a little rushed. A little bit, yeah. Just because there was so much that they packed into it. Uh, we were talking before we started filming it, trying to think, is there a way they could have split up some of the exposition between last episode, last episode and, and this episode? or Even you know, last episode, week's episode yeah. was... As many of you guys pointed out, 36 minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> Our review was almost as long as last week's episode of the show. Yes. So, is, you know, they is there a way to overlap them a little bit and spread some of the action into one and maybe... Yeah. So, if you guys have theories as to how they could have done that, put them down below because we were really wondering if, yeah. how you could have changed the pacing of these last two episodes a little bit. Yeah, even it out a little bit. Um, but then having a... One more twist that you didn't. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't think this is what we're gonna do. Have one more like final story arc at the end of this that. Which then sent me to the internet looking up the Federation claim yes, war. Yes. Which is the good aspect, like or like you're doing probably more cynical reasons or, or of can <laughs> purest reasons. Um, I am. <laughs> yes. To like wait, how does this tiny? Because my first thought was okay. I mean, then this is Star Trek, so you do time travel if you have to to you go back nine months and make sure. That, that is one of my theories, how they might do that, but they don't have, theoretically, they don't have the knowledge of how to do that with any sort of control yet, but, you know. That's, you know. That, this that's, goes back to my so-called Prime Universe statements. Um, as, I, as my knowledge, as someone not in the future yet, I think you could just slingshot around the sun. Uh, is yeah, my I've understanding. heard that's what you can do. But, and as you do it, heads will rear up out of yes, this weird pseudo silver cloud. Whoa. <laughs> Um, but so, bats, what's the negatives? There was several, what, that's moments in there. So like when Michael was talking to the Discovery, she's like, you guys just need to stay in warp so that they can't detect where you are and they can't find you and several other things she tried to imply with that. But warp's not staying stationary in a single location. Warp is moving very fast to a different location, even if you're going at warp one. And so that was kind of one of those ones I was like, that makes, how do they? It's like you're saying like, go in I know, I was like, so is she just gonna go in circles? <laughs> My husband loves to tell the story. I have zero sense of direction. And I got lost one time going to a rehearsal dinner for a friend's wedding. And despite the fact that he didn't even know me, he is at the time that this happened, he loves to tell the story about how I got lost and I circled the Capitol like 10 times in one night. This was pre 9-11 when, you know, you actually were able to drive around the Capitol. Now they've got giant cement blocks to make sure no one does anything. But yeah, so I was just picturing that. They're just going to drive around. Fly around. Whatever system okay, they're other in. Ones. Uh, other ones, going back to the transporter thing. Yeah, they, and, yeah. and then their ending thing where they're like, they, just in the last two minutes, they're like, well, we've lost the war. I'm like, okay, that is a conceivable thing because we have seen that in the 20th century where there's a war that, you know, is presumably gone and happens and done just in a few days or a few months. So I was like, okay, I'm tracking with that. But even then, you still have a resistance. And then you get the trailer for the next episode. They're like, yeah, we've lost 20% of our territory. I'm like, 20% does not equate to the map that you showed me that was all red and no federation. And then you're like, the problem I'm running into is they, they have the Admiral that Lorca seduced, Sarek, and somebody else who I didn't catch in the quick thing. And just with... and I. Amusingly enough, they didn't have the, because they had a Vulcan Admiral, but they didn't show him. But 
the thing was is that they didn't have uh, that it does what they have told us of Sarek's past does not reconcile with having him beam over to Discovery and look like he's part of the resistance Wendell fighter. Orr. You know, Sarek resistance fighter. But so anyway, okay. that's that's that, probably the next things. episode. Yeah, that's probably gonna be next episode. So my my negative on this one, just every time we went to Discovery, it was. Sci- science fiction, science mumbo jumbo, like the spore drive missile torpedo to send the way, like every time they went back to Discovery. And they'd find a way to have some interesting stuff to it, but I mean, like, it would like contrast it with we're going to war in the hallway and the da, 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 every back and forth, mm-hmm. the sword fight. Every time we go to the Discovery, mumbo jumbo. And it would be like we'd say in one scene, they'd be like, we can't do it. We'll be blown to pieces because of this piece of science mumbo jumbo. Next scene on Discovery. We've solved the problem of the science mumbo jumbo that we just talked about 30 seconds ago with a new piece of science mumbo jumbo. And it it felt a little bit like clunky writing and that much science mumbo jumbo the way they did it. So the joke was that during the 90s Star Trek that they would have lines, usually that Jordy got, where they would put in the script, insert techno babble here. And so that is the shorthand that my husband and I use. Insert techno babble here to solve yes. the problem. And that's it. When this one, it was insert techno babble to create a problem. Next scene, like literally the yeah. next scene, like insert based techno on my notes, babble. the next scene, insert techno babble for how they solve it. And it's because somewhat to the rushed point of um, you look at these two episodes and they establish a this big, big problem, problem of the network of the just that's, so that we can have a reason that the. the Discovery has to come back. Well, we have to w- make a way for there's actually conflict in that. So we add more techno ju- And all the pieces there were for a good story. And we got a good story. Mm-hmm. But we, we got didn't a good story. necessarily get great storytelling the way the pieces exactly they didn't came get together. The depth that the story could have had. Yes. And if smoothness. They, if of they were not pacing. having such a short season, they could have added one more episode to this story arc and it would have smoothed out the pacing and would have addressed issues. Cut out three episodes of the first half of the season, <laughs> put them maybe in this part of the season, or there, there's my solution for you. Um, that's a decent solution. But having talked about it, you still think Harry Mudd is your favorite episode? Yes. Okay. I, I, I'm not sure where I'd land, but first inclinations, at the same time I saw that one, first inclination was that one inclination would be that this one was there's just because of those satisfying payoff moments not this just one's a, a close runner up just, this one just had more of the pull me out of the moment because of the lore that they've built so all right so some final twist things for us to consider stamina was wrong on sato the one we talked about from last week didn't go anywhere <laughs> yeah um what do we think we're gonna they're gonna do with our uh, Empire, Empire. Empire of Philippa, Georgia. Uh, um, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure how they're going to handle that one. Because even you take her back. Yeah, they can't really take her back. Um, you can't really send her back. Or if you send her back, she's going to die. I guess yeah. maybe this is one that you can find a way to give her some sort of redemptive suicide mission, crash the ship, end the war. So the, you you can give her a sacrificial conclusion. That's probably. what's probably going to be what happens, just because they're not going to want to continue her story arc. Uh, and there'll maybe. be some way that Michael sets it up so that Michael can redeem her captain while giving her captain the, the proper farewell. Yes. And but, but Michael will, of course, be there going, no, it should be me. Yeah, it should be you know, me. Yeah. She's going to have the dramatic speech and Giorgio's going to be like, no, no, give me this moment, my daughter. It was nice to have you back for this short time. Yes, we. We'll, so it's, it, that's it. That's what it's going to be. It's, almost yes. certainly. Final one. Where's all this going? Um. So I guess we're, we're getting. I, I'm. Th- I'm assuming time travel. We have two episodes have. left. Time travel is a possibility. The other one is they somehow have some kind of weird thing where the spore drive is this magical thing that solves the war, but at the same time. Can't be used anymore. Yeah. So I I don't think they're going to have the spore drive coming next season. And I guess even this episode could be, that's their way of explaining why sport technology's gone, perhaps. 
Yeah, because they, yeah. they have to have a way of explaining why it is. We've never heard of this technology before, and they don't use it anymore because it's supposedly it, this super amazing yeah, thing. And perhaps the way it works is because the one Lorca was the one driving it, so Lorca's okay with, hey, torture that creature. Who cares who dies? And well, if, no, because there was the parallel ship that was also using it, the one that just got destroyed in like the second episode where we got hmm. the uh, space teddy bear. Because that was... That's right. They were working I was trying on to give the show... I was trying to give the they show were work, some... They were working on it before the war, and Lorca appropriated mm. it somehow and split them up onto two ships. How did he have the... Mm. That's a good question. So, so. It, um, but Spore Drive Magic Solution is you could have... This is just the, where the story's going, and our emperor saves the day or sacrificial death... You know, it, it also seems like they're setting up Saru as the captain. They they do seem to be setting up Saru as the captain, which yeah, I guess because you know there's no way that they can get Burnham back as a uh, uh, unless they somehow undo the whole court martial thing. Oh, you know if if uh, Captain uh, Georgiou is not uh, dead, yeah, you know it's what? all part of the plan. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. Let's undo that court martial. I'm not dead. Hey. That would be kind of funny if they did that. So that's where it, it's interesting to see where they because you, you think you can't. I don't think he can make Saru captain because he's not charismatic. He doesn't have. He's like a good side character, but I don't think mm -hmm. he can make him the captain. And so you oh, think, but they're claiming it's not a captain led show. Yeah, but it it was though. It was because you had Jason I, or Jason Isaacs as the lead. You had Michelle Yo Lo Yo as the captain. You had like a a charismatic star power captain person. Mm -hmm. So even if Michael's our actual ca our lead character, you had the charismatic star captain. power cap. Yeah, charismatic captain. So I, I don't know. I don't know. For that reason, I don't know if they could do it. And especially because they had some of these, um, you know, in their 50s, established, you love them type actors in there. Mm -hmm. They got to have someone like that next season. So that's where it's interesting to see where that goes. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, they also any have to thoughts? get a doctor back. They have no doctor right now on their ship. That's true. So maybe that's what they'll give us our star power doctor. We're watching Voyager right now with the kids. And my kids all think the doctor is hilarious. We're like six Have episodes Have you shown in. them Total Recall yet? I have not. Yeah, so I watched Total Re Recall um, a week or two ago, and he's the taxi cab driver. Did you remember that? Robert Picardo? Yeah. Well, really? Yeah. I mean, it's a robot. He's the voice of it, though. Okay. You're in a Johnny cab. Ah. Okay. I was thinking of the he wrong one. He blows up. Yeah, and of course. Then, and then a lot of people die. And it'll be, it's great. Final thoughts is, but as we close out... Final thoughts. Uh, overall, it is a good episode. It's fun. I am pretty convinced we're not actually in the Prime Universe. You know that. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's tough to defend Prime Universe at, at a certain point in time. Yeah. So no matter how much they say, I don't think Prime Universe. I, I was I was wondering, because as they started doing the different universes and all these different streams, I was wondering, like, are we going to, like, come out and... We weren't in Prime, and we come out in Prime, and there's some reason that actual Prime's gone, and, like, now these people yeah, who are from, like, this other, like, a third universe, I was wondering if they're going to do that, and we show up, and we see, like, traditional 60s Star Trek uniforms. I was yeah. wondering, or uh, uh, um, the cage uniforms. Like, yes. we're going to see the cage uniforms. I know, because that would work. That would have been... And uh, would have been... A, a twist at the end of the episode. You would have been seriously oh! awesome. We would have been like... <gasps> Well, no. So, so we'll see. I, I really enjoyed this last story arc. I, yeah, I've, this last story arc has been the best story arc. It has uh, helped explain a lot of our frustrations with the first half yes. of the season. And in that's in, in certain ways, it it somewhat corrects some of the problems. And when I do kind of my when I don't know, you'll probably join me too. But when we do our review of the full season, that'll certainly elevate a lot of elements yes. of it. At the same time, the way it played out, I don't know what they like. Yeah. The, made some weird choices in the way they decided to have that play out. Yes. Anyway, how about you guys tell us down below your thoughts on all of it, your theories as to what's going on, all that fun stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. These keep getting longer and longer every single week. It's 41 <laughs> minutes! Yeah, we're, it'll be, it, hey, by the time I trim it down, it'll only be 35 minutes long. So we should probably close this one out. 
If you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I do movie reviews, TV reviews, hey, like the one you're watching right now. I also do ranking videos. But the key thing is, I don't want to just talk about movies and TV. I want to talk about movies and TV with, with you. you. So join me down in the comment section. Let's have a live discussion. I have seen him do that a lot. What? With you? Yes. I didn't actually hear what you said. Also, check us out over on Stardust. Put your reactions up there. We do love to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you for watching.